Welcome everyone to the first round of the National Middle School Championship. In this game, I am playing Arav Nambiar, a 14 to 50, and I've played him once before in an online game, and I won which with a brilliant attack. So this game was a lot different, so we're going to go through it. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6, the Petra of defense. I had prepared the Petra for this tournament, and... It worked against this guy. I don't know if it'll work against anybody else, but take d6, knight f6, knight takes, knight c3, take, and take. This is the dim switch attack. It is very common among super GMs who play the Petrov, and I also decided to play it for this game. Or he did. Knight d4. Like, I. Knight d4. I didn't really see the point. Obviously, they're trying to central the knight, trying to get the bishop, but I just go back. Bishop here, a6. The reason I went a6 is because I'm trying to go c5. But if I do it now, he just jumps into b5. d6 pawn is weak. If I take, I never want to give him the bishop pair, so that's why. I went a6 first, c5, and h6 because I'm trying to go bishop b7, but again, I don't want the knight attacking anything on the king side. Rook d1, I was. Honestly, I didn't see this move. I thought he'd castle queen side, and I could go like queen a5. But if I castle queen side, our bishop e6. But I guess queen a5 is good too. They're both very strong for me. But anyway, he played rook d1. I have a bishop e6, trying to look for some pawns here. D d5 is the only defending move on the pawn. And knight e5. Knight c6, take and take, so... Here, I have double pawns, but he also has double pawns in the same file, so it's four pawns in one file. It's not getting opened anytime soon. I no longer have a weakness on d5, but it can be attacked later, as we'll see with c4. Because I can't take, because if I do take, my position is terrible. I get queen c3, instantly start targeting some of these pawns, and I'm almost losing already, so I wouldn't have done that. Instead, I went bishop g5 to try to trade off some pieces here. And I ended up trading off a pair of bishops and the queen. So, now it is a double rook and bishop, same color, endgame. And here, pawn takes and pawn takes is probably best. So, here, my opponent played castle. Castle, c takes, c5, 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 bishop, f3, looking for my pawn. I go rook a, d8 to defend it g3, d4 here, and I take the pawn. Now, in this position, I missed this move. I I was calculating, oh, b3, c4, is this okay? It looks to be, but I'm not sure. And then I'm like, wait, you just go here. Not now, but you just go here. And it's not... I, I, didn't, I missed this move. So I went back with my bishop, take... This move is an inaccuracy because he can take and take this way. And here, if I take here, he has rook d8 and bishop to e4 picking on my rook. So that would it obviously lose me the game. So I would have to play the game down a pawn. I'd probably play like rook b8, looking for some pawns on this side. And honestly... I'd be fighting for a draw at that point, but he took g5, which allowed to trade pawns, and I have a pass a pawn, but it isn't going anywhere, because he can double stack and put his bishop, and I have to put everything to try to defend everything, to try to defend the pawn, so, oh, <laughs> I kind of spoiled the result of the game, oh, well. bishop a, th so here, 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 Double stacks. Bishop h3 is a funny trick. Because I'm trying to go. I'm looking for back rank mate. He goes back. I stack. And this move. I I was thinking like here, here, here. And then he. But if I go here, he can just go f3. I'm like, what am I doing? So. Yeah, I just go back. Because I don't want to lose my pawn. I go here. And now. I am stuck guarding the pawn. But he's also stuck attacking it. Because if he doesn't attack it. I can go like a5 and push forward and now the pawn and then the pawn starts to get mobile. So he can't allow that. G6, kg7, bishop g7. I'm trying to 
maneuver my piece a little bit better here. F5, rook c4, rook c5. At first, I was a little bit afraid of this move, but I realized I can go here and here because, well, it looks like he's attacking this pawn, and he took it, and I can just go rook a, rook a, rook a, and pin. And this is, we go into the fourth phase of the game, or the second phase of the game, where I'm trying to win rook versus bishop, three pawns versus two. And this is theoretically a drawn game. I mean, I, if my pawns were like back here, I might have chances, but because they're on light squares, my I always have to stay guarding them because the bishop can come like, attack them. So I can't just go willy nilly up here with my king trying to win some pawns because my pawns are always weak here. So I shuffle, we shuffle a lot. I'm trying to find, a, I'm trying to get him to mess up here. It was almost threefold there, but here, 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 and here he saw, he pushed upon his h5, and h5 is the best move g5 and g4 and i realize i i, I shouldn't take this pawn but i should take this one because now i have a pawn on a dark square and i don't need to be stuck defending it so i just try to maneuver a little bit and this move allows me to crawl oh this move allows me to crawl in and this is the first step of me winning this i had to somehow manage to crawl in and make sure his bishop can't move away. And the next part is I'm trying to get him to go f3. So that his bishop truly can't move. And then I could have opportunities to put him in Zugzwang. So, yeah, I get him to move his pawn. Because if he doesn't, he has to move his king. And I can get in, so. Or just take the bishop. Yeah, so he has to move the pawn. Here, here, here. And now I'm crawling it. Now, now I'm in and now... Things get spicy. So, rook d7. And this is when I realized that I am winning. And the reason I'm winning is because if I have this exact position, when it's my move and my rook's here, that I'm winning. So, I have to do that. So, I try to... I waste the move with my rook so that I get here. So, now it's king. If he can't move there, because I just made him, he can't move his bishop anywhere, because I'd probably take this pawn... And if, and he, so it's only, and he can't push, like, the pawns, because I would just take them. And, as you can see, an idea in this is, say, I'm, if I, if I ever move my rook away, and he goes h6, I could just go back, and there's no way he can guard the pawn. So, he never wants to push it, even if my rook does move away. If I just chase him into the corner, here, 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 here. And here, it's where it got a little bit, like, it's, I'm still better I don't know if I'm winning still, but he has to find the right move, and that's bishop f5. If he finds this move, then he has some chances to draw. I'm probably still winning, but in the game, he played this, which just loses on the spot. Because I can go here, cutting the king off, and winning a tempo. So, I go in and this move, here, 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 here. And this move is, like, pretty much the only move, because if I do, like, this, well, I guess this works too but this is the the cleanest way to do it because you cut the king off again if he tries to go like here you go here and then here or let's try to if because if you try to go here i go here and if you go here you take 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 and you have the opposition so you're gonna win the game so my opponent went back to e2 i move forward and my, i put my king here and here my opponent resigned because he's in zugzwang he can't if he pushes he to lose his pawn if he moves his bishop i just take it and if he moves the king out was the bishop. So that was round number one of the National Middle School Championship. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you for round two. Get out of here.